we're going to convert to post bits using an expression tree. But first we've got to build an expression tree, which they shouldn't ask you to do in this time. They'll give you the expression tree, but I'm just going to show you how to manually build one. It's a bit messy. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm not going to use any fancy methods. I'm just going to use a, a diagrammatic way of doing it. Right, so this is the expression we've got. We've got um, an assignment in G of this right hand side, and we've got a couple of um, brackets there to override precedence. What we first do is we put brackets in to show the order that the instructions are going to get done. So we know we're going to do the power before that. So we're going to put an extra bracket in. I'm going to do these in different colour actually. So I know that they're the ones that I've added on. So I'm going to bracket around that. Then we do the multiply with those two expressions. Then we can do the assignment. Okay. Now that I've set that up, I can start building the tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking for the outside pair of brackets. I'm going to take those away. And I'm going to look for the operation. So I've got the operation is equal. So I'm going to create a node. And on the left hand side of that operation is G. So I'm going to do a left front to G. On the right hand side of that is all of this. So I'm going to create a node, don't know what's going to go in there yet, but I'm going to write down the rest of the expression I've got. So I've got A plus B times C power D minus D, three brackets. Okay, I want to put the operator in there that is at the centre of the next level of brackets. So I'm going to take them two pairs out and I see I've got a multiply. So I'm going to put the multiply in. On the left hand side of it, I have got this expression. I'm just going to write that down, A plus B. On the right hand side of it, I have got this other expression, this one. Do that bit. Right. Okay, so I've got <coughs> C to the power. So C power D minus E. I don't need to do that. Right, so let's do this easy one first. We've got plus A to the left, B to the right. Okay, so that handles that. Then we've got this one, which is power. To the left of it is C. To the right of it is D. So just put that in. D minus D goes there. D to the left, E to the right. Okay, so that's my expression tree. So from that infix, I've generated that tree. Now, this diagrammatic method of turning that into reverse Polish is to tree walk. Now there are algorithms to tree walking, but we're we're doing like a manual implementation of that using a diagram. Okay, so you don't do this. I'm going to rub off all this superfluous that's helped me build that tree. I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of all the extras so I've got my original infix expression. Okay, start off by doing a border round your tree. Very close hugging Be careful when your tree's a bit dodgily drawn like this one. It probably won't be any better in the exam. To be honest. Okay. Right. <coughs> so I've boarded my tree. Now what we're attempting to do is we're, we're going to go anti-clockwise around this path I've made. And as we pass nodes from the centre, we're going to try and make a line that cuts the path. Now to do postfix, we are going to take a node and we're going to say, from the centre, can I cut the line that way? So as I go past, if I can do that, I write down the value of the node. Okay, so let's just go through this. So I'll use my blue pen. So going anti-clockwise, past that node, I can't cut going right from the centre. Can't cut. Keep going round. I get to there, from the centre, I can cut. So I'll write down... G. Okay. Keep going round. Past that node. Can't cut to the right. 
can't cut to the right. Keep going round. Keep going round. Get to the A, and I can cut from the centre to the right. So write down the contents of the note. Keep going round. Keep going round. Get to the B. I can cut, so I write it down. Following it round, get to the plus. I can cut. Follow it round. Can't there. Can't there. Dodgy bit there. Get round. Can cut from the C. Keep following it round. Keep following it round. Keep following it round. Can cut where I get the D. Again, keep following it round. Following it round. Cut where the E is. And then as I go up this side, as I pass each node, I should be writing down the contents because they're going to cut. So power, multiply, and finally, the equals. And I've got round. Okay? Remember, rule of thumb, if you've got an assignment operation, that will always be the last value you write down in postfix. Because it is the last thing that's done once you've evaluated the right hand side. And you can see that <coughs> the plus ends up being done first because that was bracketed so that overread precedence. And the minus gets done first before the power and the multiply. Okay? It's as simple as that. You've got to be careful. If your diagram's dodgy, well like I say in the exam you generally get given these diagrams, you need to be careful. But it's just cutting to the right hand side. Okay? And that's it. Simple.